Today is May 28th, 2024. My name is Nicodemus and welcome back to the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. In today's episode, we'll explore the EU's ambitious plans to merge blockchain and AI, Argentina's partnership with El Salvador to dive into Bitcoin, and former Defense Secretary Jim Mattis' warnings about AI and disinformation. We'll also look at how AI is revolutionizing 911 services in Aurora, Colorado, the collapse of the Normie token, Caitlyn Jenner's surprising entry into the crypto space, Ether's promising price rally, and Elon Musk's XAI securing a massive funding round. So buckle up, because it's going to be a time. The European Union is preparing for the convergence of blockchain technology and artificial intelligence. The European Blockchain Observatory and Forum is an initiative by the European Commission. They've urged the EU to integrate these technologies. This integration seeks to secure and innovate various sectors, including healthcare and finance. Their report emphasizes the benefits of combining blockchain and AI. Blockchain is known for its secure and transparent data storage. AI applications often require robust data security, and that security is something that blockchain can provide. For instance, sensitive AI datasets in healthcare or finance can be securely stored on a blockchain. That would greatly enhance privacy and reduce the risk of data breaches. The report also notes the potential for decentralized AI networks. Traditionally, AI development is centralized and controlled by large corporations or governments. Blockchain technology could enable the creation of distributed AI systems, and those systems could foster collaboration and innovation among a wider range of participants. Decentralized networks can reduce the risk of data monopolies and promote collaborative AI development. The report examines emerging trends in the blockchain space, including decentralized finance and smart contract enhancements. It suggests that the EU should explore regulations for DeFi to ensure consumer protection and economic stability. The report also stresses the needs for advancements in smart contract functionality that would unlock their full potential in various applications. The Commission's focus on blockchain and AI integration comes amid growing interest in these technologies. Despite recent hacking incidents in the crypto space, the EU's proactive approach could position it as a leader in developing secure and innovative blockchain-based solutions. The EU's approach could shape the future of AI development. However, uncertainties remain. Regulatory frameworks for these emerging technologies are still evolving. Additionally, the environmental impact of specific blockchain applications, particularly those requiring high computational power, needs to be addressed. The EU's focus on preparing for the convergence of blockchain and AI demonstrates a forward-thinking approach. By fostering innovation while addressing potential risks, the EU can navigate these complexities of these transformative technologies. This approach could prove crucial for the crypto space and various industries poised to be impacted by AI and blockchain integration. The Commission study acknowledged the continued growth of the DeFi ecosystem. They anticipate the launch of new protocols and emerging applications. They anticipate blockchain technology's inherent interoperability, sustainability, and energy efficiency will drive its continued adoption. They made several recommendations in this area. These include acting as a global knowledge hub for blockchain, strengthening Europe's engagement with various stakeholders, and addressing issues arising from innovations. Concurrent with this report, the EU announced plans to amend the European High Performing Computer Joint Undertaking Regulation. This dictates the use of supercomputers for AI development. This regulation affects nine supercomputers across Europe. The new AI factories proposed by the amendment will further this mission. Under this new regulation, hosting entities can receive up to 50% of the acquisition and operational costs of AI supercomputers from the EU. Ownership of these machines can be transferred to the hosting entities five years after acceptance testing. This plan seeks to boost the outcomes of these powerful machines through trustworthy AI. The EU's proactive approach towards integrating blockchain and AI technologies seeks to position Europe at the forefront of technological innovation. By addressing potential risks and fostering collaboration, the EU can lead in the development of secure and advanced blockchain-based solutions. This integration is set to impact various industries, shaping the future of technology in Europe. As Europe forges ahead with blockchain and AI, let's shift our gaze to South America. Argentina is diving deep into Bitcoin, learning from El Salvador. But before we get into that, I'm going to do the thing where I ask you to like, follow, and subscribe to the podcast. Now, let's take a look at Argentina. Argentina's National Securities Commission, or CNV, is partnering with El Salvador's National Commission of Digital Assets, or CNAD. The goal is to investigate Bitcoin adoption and cryptocurrency regulation. This collaboration stems from El Salvador's landmark move in 2021. That's when El Salvador made Bitcoin legal tender alongside the U.S. dollar. Argentina is keen to leverage El Salvador's pioneering steps in the crypto world. In a recent meeting, Commission President Roberto Silva praised El Salvador's leadership in integrating Bitcoin into its financial system. He noted the valuable insights El Salvador has gained in regulating the crypto market. The commission's vice president is Patricia Bodo. She emphasized the significance of El Salvador's expertise. 
She visited El Salvador for market development meetings and stressed the importance of strengthening ties with the nation at the forefront of cryptocurrency innovation. Juan Carlos Reyes is the president of El Salvador's National Commission of Digital Assets. He appreciated Argentina's tech expertise. The officials discussed practical approaches to understanding and utilizing cryptocurrency in the global economy. This collaboration comes as Argentina ramps up its efforts to regulate its local cryptocurrency market. In April, the Commission introduced regulation requirements for crypto firms. Argentina's move towards cryptocurrency regulation gained momentum with the election of Bitcoin-friendly politician Javier Malay as president in late 2023. Malay's administration is open to embracing cryptocurrencies and is planning to legalize their use for payments under specific conditions. Argentina's partnership with El Salvador provides a valuable opportunity to learn from a country that's taken significant steps in the crypto space. This collaboration demonstrates the global importance of cryptocurrency adoption and the need for robust regulatory frameworks to govern digital assets. In a meeting on May 23rd, Silva and Reyes discussed El Salvador's experience as the first country to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender. They shared approaches and concepts of cryptocurrency use in global economies, specifically focusing on El Salvador's Bitcoin case. Silva emphasized El Salvador's role as a global leader in Bitcoin adoption and the broader crypto industry. He wants to strengthen ties with El Salvador and explore collaboration agreements. Bodo emphasized the crucial role of the country's expertise in the crypto industry. She noted Argentina's pioneering role in technology. She committed to working with the industry to create appropriate regulations. This news comes as Argentina advances its local crypto market regulation and establishes cryptocurrency firm registration requirements. Argentina's foreign affairs minister, Diane Mondino, announced plans to legalize using Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies for payments, but again under certain conditions. Argentina's partnership with El Salvador marks a significant step in its crypto journey. It reflects the growing global importance of cryptocurrency adoption and regulation. From South America's crypto journey, we move to a critical issue closer to home. The rise of AI is reshaping not just technology, but also our democracy. What does General Jim Mattis have to say about AI and foreign influence? In a recent Defense Talks event, former Defense Secretary Jim Mattis issued a stark warning about the nation's vulnerability to foreign influence operations ahead of the 2024 elections. Despite the high confidence and security of voting infrastructure against cyber attacks, Mattis expressed deep concern over the influence operations. He noted that these operations pose a significant threat as adversaries like Russia and China escalate their propaganda efforts, targeting not just the U.S., but also other democracies. The potential consequences of these operations are far-reaching, threatening the very fabric of our democratic processes. Mattis emphasized the disruptive technologies used by these adversaries to bolster their influence campaigns, particularly artificial intelligence. The divisive state of U.S. politics amplifies the threat. It makes the country more susceptible to efforts aimed at increasing tribalism and distrust among Americans. He noted that the leaders in Beijing and Moscow are likely pleased to see Americans tearing each other apart with heated rhetoric. And this is a situation that could be made much worse by the use of sophisticated AI in these influence campaigns. On a positive note, Mattis is confident in the cybersecurity of the nation's election infrastructure. He gives a 99.9% .9 chance of accurate vote counts without meddling. However, he stressed the importance of vigilance against influence operations, which remain a critical concern. Mattis also addressed the evolving role of cyber within the U.S. military. He opposed the idea of creating a separate military branch for cyber operations. He prefers a model that enhances the roles of the DOD and U.S. Cyber Command in responding to cyber attacks on critical infrastructure. And I'm going to have to disagree with my fellow Marine on this one. I would much prefer to see consolidation for this kind of work. Now, discussing technological advances, Mattis contended that despite the promise of new technologies, the fundamental nature of warfare has remained unchanged for thousands of years. He acknowledged the potential of AI and machine learning to bring significant changes, but maintains that effective integration of technology is crucial. This integration involves innovation and proper education of military personnel. Both are key to ensuring that technology is a reliable tool. An example of integrating AI into cybersecurity efforts is the Army Cyber Command's Panoptic Junction, or PJ. Developed to meet directives from President Biden's AI executive order, PJ seeks to enhance the detection of cyber threats through continuous monitoring. It uses AI to analyze event logs and to identify anomalies or malicious activities. The tool is part of a broader effort led by U.S. Cyber Command to strengthen the nation's cyber defenses. The PJ initiative highlights the growing importance of AI in cybersecurity. It was initially developed to simplify tasks for the cyber workforce. Now it plays a crucial role in identifying and mitigating threats like Chinese actor Volt Typhoon. Volt Typhoon has penetrated U.S. critical infrastructure. The actor's activities underline the need for advanced tools like PJ to protect against evolving cyber threats. The Army Cyber Command's collaboration with industry partners showcases the potential for public-private partnerships in developing effective cybersecurity solutions. The final prototype of PJ is expected by July. It represents a significant step towards enhancing the nation's digital security.
While election systems may be secure against direct cyber attacks, the real battle is countering sophisticated influence operations. With AI playing a crucial role in both offensive and defensive cyber activities, the U.S. must remain vigilant and innovative to safeguard its democracy and critical infrastructure. This isn't just a call to action. It's a responsibility that we all share in protecting the pillars of our society. Now, we've seen how AI can pose a threat. Let's talk about its life-saving potential. How is AI revolutionizing 911 services in Colorado? Get ready to hear about some game-changing innovations. Aurora, Colorado is home to nearly 400,000 people. The city is facing challenges in emergency services, but its 911 system now uses new technology to overcome some of these challenges. Tina Bonetta is the director of Aurora 911, and she says this new tech addresses language barriers, situational awareness, and call searches. Rapid SOS is a public safety software company. They recently launched AI tools to improve situational awareness for first responders. Previously, non-English 911 callers had their calls transferred to an off-site interpreter. As you can imagine, this delayed responses and caused misunderstandings. Bonetta emphasized Aurora's diversity, with over 162 spoken languages. This makes real-time translation crucial. With AI, call centers now translate in real time. This helps ensure accurate communication and faster responses. This tech means responders make decisions based on real-time information, not guesses. Another tool from Rapid SOS is Unified Reporting. Unified Reporting helps administrators analyze incident data and allocate resources effectively, even during large-scale emergencies like wildfires. Aurora's 911 centers face frequent call searches that exceed staffing capabilities. Real-time location tracking, including body cameras on officers, enhances response efficiency. If an officer needs help, they can be quickly located and assisted. The goal here is to ensure that everyone returns home safe. The emergency services sector is in crisis. The America's 911 Workforce in Crisis report reveals troubling trends, such as from 2019 to 2022, 911 centers in the U.S. had an average vacancy rate of 25%. On top of that, they face high turnover rates. Staffing shortages affect all types of 911 centers, and they're all driven by high stress, low wages, and long hours. Many centers rely on mandatory and voluntary overtime to cope, leading to burnout and increased turnover. It's a vicious cycle that's grinding 911 workers under its own weight. AI offers a glimmer of hope. By integrating AI, 911 centers can relieve overworked staff, handle call surges, and provide faster service. Systems like Amazon Connect in Charleston County redirect non-emergency calls, reducing administrative call volume by 36%. Jefferson County in Colorado uses AI to process nearly 40% of its administrative calls. However, public reception of AI and 911 services is mixed. A Pew Research study found that more Americans are concerned than excited about AI in everyday life. Many worry that AI might replace the human empathy that is crucial in crisis situations. Experts stress that AI should enhance human workers, not replace them. For instance, TTEC Digital's AutoDirect service triages non-emergency calls, but human operators still make critical decisions. AI tools can help manage rising call volumes and improve job conditions. That said, they're not a complete solution. As 911 centers struggle with understaffing, some calls may go unanswered, and this damages public trust in the system, which is concerning because losing faith in 911 can erode faith in the entire emergency response system. As AI transforms emergency services, we can't ignore the crypto world's turbulence. The collapse of the Normie token is a stark reminder of the risks in the meme coin market. Now, what went wrong and what's next for Normie? The meme coin Normie is built on Ethereum's Layer 2 network base. It faced a devastating smart contract exploit. The exploit targeted a flaw in the token's tax function. This allowed the attacker to manipulate Normie's total supply and drain its liquidity pools. Within just three hours, the token's value plummeted 99%, sending shockwaves through the Normie community. Normie's market cap crashed from nearly 42 million to around 200,000. The attack caused significant losses for many token holders. One investor saw $1.6 million of investment reduced to just $150. The attacker offered to return 90% of the stolen funds if the Normie team agreed to relaunch the project. They proposed using the returned funds, along with the 600 Ethereum in the developer wallet, to reimburse the affected token holders. In on-chain messages, the attacker criticized Normie's contract code as a, quote, copy-paste job, suggesting it wasn't thoroughly reviewed before deployment. They noted that similar vulnerabilities exist in other token contracts. The Normie team has accepted the attacker's offer and is committed to using all of the Ether in their wallet to help relaunch the project. Normie previously enjoyed success from its launch in March 2023. Normie rode the meme coin wave following the Denkin upgrade. This upgrade reduced fees for Ethereum Layer 2 networks. At its peak, Normie's market cap exceeded $100 million. Now the road ahead is uncertain. The team faces the challenge of relaunching the project and ensuring fair compensation for affected token holders. 
Blockchain detectives revealed that the attackers used a tax function exploit to issue more tokens than the intended supply. These extra tokens were traded for Ether, and this caused a massive drop in value. The Normie developer wallet holds about 736 Ether, valued at approximately $11.7 million. Normie's social media presence has also been impacted. The project's account on X was suspended. The community is left reeling from the losses and the uncertainty surrounding the token's future. The attack on Normie highlights the risks associated with meme coins and the importance of thorough code reviews. The incident serves as a warning to other projects to secure their smart contracts. The Normie team's acceptance of the attacker's offer provides a glimmer of hope, but the path to recovery remains challenging. Normie's downfall leads us to another crypto saga. Caitlyn Jenner's entry into the crypto space has stirred up a storm of skepticism and intrigue. Is this token for real, or is it just another hack? Let's find out. Caitlyn Jenner seemingly unveiled a token named Jenner on the Solana blockchain. This unexpected move has sparked a wave of intrigue within the crypto community. So, on Sunday, a post on Jenner's X account introduced the token, which was reportedly created using the Solana token deployer Pump Fund. The community was quick to dismiss it as a potential hack. Just think about all the times in the past where celebrity accounts have been compromised to promote some tokens. Typically, such compromises are swiftly identified and resolved by X's security teams. However, Jenner's account continued to promote the token for hours after the initial launch. One post claimed the account wasn't hacked, which is exactly what I would say if I were a black hat hacker who compromised a high value account. Of course I'd say it wasn't hacked. Now another post on X predicted the token would achieve a $50 million market cap within 24 hours. I find that to be unlikely. Despite these claims, market observers remain skeptical, citing previous cases where American celebrities faced SEC charges for token promotion. Remember what happened to Shaq and Kim Kardashian? They both got in trouble for that very kind of thing. Approximately six hours after the launch, Jenner's account released a video showing her talking about the token, saying it wasn't a deepfake, which again is exactly what I would do. Jenner claimed the token had already recorded over $113 million in trading volumes within four hours. Another video showed Jenner's manager, Sophia Hutchins, stating the token's authenticity and her role in managing the project. Despite these efforts, some users continue to dismiss these videos as deepfakes. The block reported posts promoting the token on Jenner's Instagram account. Now, I personally have not seen them. Apparently, they've been removed. Meanwhile, only 4% of bettors on Polymarket believe Jenner's account was hacked. The market attracted over $1.2 million in bets by the afternoon. Crypto community figure Roxo disclosed that Jenner's account wasn't hacked, but manipulated by a middleman named Sahil. The initial tweet promoting the meme coin included a photo of Jenner with former President Donald Trump. Following the token's launch, the developer sold all holdings. This caused concern among investors. The token was launched on Pump Fund, and it briefly surged to a $20 million market cap. The wallet address linked to the token had been involved in a previous incident where the account of adult content creator Kazumi was attacked. This, of course, raised further suspicions. Despite the uncertainties, the Jenner token experienced a 28,000% surge in one day. It reached an $18 million market cap. Sahil Arora is the alleged middleman, and he claimed responsibility for deploying the Jenner token and several other celebrity tokens. He boasted about his connections with multiple celebrities and his involvement in various projects. These include Lindsay Lohan and Soja Boy. Arora's motives appear to be clout, money, and authority. Jenner's X account continued actively promoting the token, collaborating with Aurora's camp to engage with the crypto community. Amid the confusion, several industry influencers and celebrities had their X accounts hacked over the weekend, and of course it was to promote various tokens. Jenner's account made every effort to prove that it was not hacked. At the time of writing, the posts on X are still up, with Jenner advising that crypto is not the right investment for everyone. However, skepticism remains high. The incident has brought to light the alarming trend of exploiting celebrity accounts to manipulate the crypto market. This controversy serves as a reminder for enthusiasts to exercise caution and remain vigilant about such promotions. From celebrity tokens, we turn to a crypto heavyweight. Ether's price is on a promising trajectory. Could it reach new heights before spot Ether ETF's launch? Let's explore. The price of Ether could rise to $4,500 before the first spot Ether ETFs are approved, at least according to Arthur Chong. He's the founder and CEO of Defiance Capital. On May 26th, he told his 167,000 followers on X that he expects Ether to reach 4,500 before the ETFs start trading. Currently, Ether is trading at around 3,900, which is up 2.57% in the last 24 hours. If Chung's prediction comes true, Ether would need to rally over 15% from its current price. This follows the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission approving the 19B-4 filings for 8-spot Ether ETFs. Those approvals came through on May 23rd, and this allows them to be listed and traded on their respective exchanges. The approved issuers include Vanek, BlackRock, 
Fidelity, Grayscale, Franklin Templeton, ARC21 Shares, Invesco Galaxy, and Bitwise. However, ETF issuers still need approval for their S1 filings, and those approvals could take months. And that's not just me talking, that's Bloomberg ETF analyst James Seyfert. He noted that the S1 approvals might take weeks to months, but they are a matter of when, not if. And this has fueled optimism that Ether could rally to $4,500. Some experts believe that the ETF approval could drive Ether's price to $10,000 by the end of the year. MicroStrategy founder Michael Saylor was initially skeptical of spot Ether ETFs. He now sees them as beneficial for Bitcoin, predicting increased institutional adoption and a diversified crypto asset class. Following the SEC's approval, analysts discussed the potential impact of the ETFs. Bloomberg analyst Eric Balkunas expects the launch of Ether ETFs to mirror that of Bitcoin ETFs, but with lower volumes. VanEck's Matthew Seigel plans to present a strong investment case for Ethereum, emphasizing its vibrant decentralized application ecosystem. Animoca Brands co-founder Yatsu anticipates global competition in crypto ETFs, with jurisdictions like the UK, Singapore, and Dubai considering their own ETFs. Yesterday, we were talking about South Korea and the pressure they're facing to approve crypto ETFs since the U.S. started making those approvals. Consensus's Bill Hughes believes that while the SEC's approval implies Ether is viewed as a commodity, the regulatory body still needs to be transparent about the implications. At the time of writing, Ether is nearing $4,000 and is showing a 5% increase over the past 24 hours. It's gained 27.5% in the past week, surpassing Bitcoin's 3.8% gain. This positive movement in Ether's price has sparked predictions of a continued rally. The approval of Ether ETFs has also positively impacted the DeFi sector, with total value locked reaching $117 billion and Ethereum Layer 2 networks nearing a collective all-time high of $47 billion. This shows the broader positive effects of the ETF approval on the Ethereum ecosystem. Now finally, let's look at the cutting edge of AI innovation. Elon Musk's XAI has secured a massive funding round. How does this position XAI in the race against AI giants? Stay with us to uncover the latest developments. Elon Musk's AI venture, XAI, secured $6 billion in its latest funding round. Notable investors include Valor Equity Partners, Vi Capital, Andreessen Horowitz, Sequoia Capital, Fidelity, Prince Alawahid bin Talal, and Kingdom Holding. This funding boosts XAI's valuation to $24 billion, which is a significant achievement just 11 months after its launch in July 2023. By way of comparison, the creator of ChatGPT is valued at $80 billion. OpenAI was founded in December 2015 and had an eight-year head start over XAI. Musk's company plans to use the new funds to advance its AI research and development, focusing on creating AI systems that benefit humanity. They aim to bring their first product to market soon. Musk has actively promoted XAI to its 184 million followers on X. He's been encouraging those interested in understanding the universe to join his mission. XAI has launched its first chatbot, Grok1, last November and followed it up with Grok1.5 in April. Grok1.5 introduces image understanding capabilities. This allows it to process various visual documents. The network architecture of Grok1 was open sourced in March. Despite its rapid progress, XAI lags behind competitors like OpenAI and Google DeepMind. Musk believes that XAI can catch up by the end of 2024. At Viva Tech Paris 2024, he expressed his optimism that XAI could soon compete with industry giants. In March, Musk and over 2,600 tech experts called for a pause in AI development, highlighting potential risks to society. Nevertheless, Musk continues to push forward with XAI. The $6 billion funding round is among the largest in the emerging AI space. It positions XAI to compete directly with rivals like OpenAI, Microsoft, and Google. Musk has been involved with AI through his work with Tesla and is a co-founder of OpenAI. However, his relationship with OpenAI has soured, leading to a lawsuit against the company and its co-founder Sam Altman for allegedly deviating from their mission. XAI's new funding will support the launch of its first products. It will develop advanced infrastructure and conduct further AI research. The company is also exploring partnerships to expand Grok's reach beyond X. While XAI claims its AI systems are designed to be truthful, there have been reports of Grok generating misleading information. And folks, right now at least, that's just the way it is with generative AI. Just like humans, AI generates misinformation and disinformation on occasion. At least for now. That's why the push for explainable AI is so important. With these developments, XAI is poised to make significant strides in the AI industry, challenging established players and advancing Musk's vision of creating beneficial AI systems. So, what happened? The European Union is gearing up for a future where blockchain and AI technologies are seamlessly integrated, emphasizing the potential of decentralized AI networks and advancements in smart contract functionality. Argentina has partnered up with El Salvador to investigate Bitcoin adoption. 
The plan is to learn from El Salvador's pioneering steps in the crypto world while also ramping up its own cryptocurrency regulations. Former Defense Secretary Jim Mattis warns of the threat of foreign influence operations ahead of the 2024 elections, particularly those enhanced by AI. He emphasized the importance of vigilance against these sophisticated campaigns. Aurora, Colorado's 911 services are being transformed by AI. The technology improves real-time translation and situational awareness, thereby addressing language barriers and enhancing emergency response efficiency. The Normie token suffered a devastating collapse due to a smart contract exploit. This is evidence of the risks associated with meme coins and the need for thorough code reviews. Caitlyn Jenner's launch of the Jenner token sparked widespread skepticism and debate, reflecting the complexities and risks of celebrity-endorsed cryptocurrencies. Ether's price is on a promising upward swing, with predictions of a significant rally before the launch of spot Ether ETFs, potentially reaching new heights and positively impacting the DeFi sector. Elon Musk's AI secured a substantial $6 billion in funding, positioning it to compete directly with industry giants and advance its AI research and development. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. We'll see you next time.